Welcome back for another video. Before we begin this video though, I just want to let y'all know, Barrio Tales hoodies are now available. Red, black, purple, orange, and blue. Cash App and PayPal how you can reach me. They're only $25 with free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. T-shirts are also available still. All you gotta do is hit that Cash App and PayPal that you see right there. Thank you. Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about the Bellevue Dukes. The Bellevue Dukes started off as a tagging crew called Blazing Up Daily or Bud for short. The Bellevue Dukes then got into it with gangs around them trying to make them join. So they made their own hood from Hoover all the way to Silver Lake Boulevard. Enemies include Rockwood, La Mariata Locos, Dia or Diablos, they started off in the 90s and became a gang in the late 90s and went at it hard with La Mariata Locos when La Mariata Locos wanted them to join. And when they disagreed, La Mariata Locos went on a rampage on them daily. Shootouts between the two led to some buds shooting at La Mariata Locos member named Sleepy as he tried running away and jumping a fence. From there, Sleepy became paralyzed from the waist down. In 2018, a Bud member ended up killing Sleepy at a red light on Virgil and Lockwood in front of a gas station. The individual who you see here is the convicted shooter and Bellevue Dukes member who got locked up for it. He's serving 75 years in prison. His moniker is Player. Another story happened five years back in 2013. When Chucky from Bellevue Dukes was walking down Bellevue Ave when a car pulls up with many Rockwood members and they end up shooting Chucky nine times. Luckily, Chucky survived and Bellevue Dukes main head Cheeto was also struck days later. Cheeto ended up dying also by the Rockwood members.